Hey guys, it's Shadow. So for this game I decided to go as the Incas. What I wanted to try doing was an Inca Tower Rush on Black Forest to see if it would work. I don't know that much about Inca's build order, so I kind of tried my best to do the standard build order, rather than doing a specific to Inca's, just in case it went badly. So what I initially did was sent my two villages as far forward as I could and my scout to try and get control of this area here, as I knew that his base would be around about here. So I wall it off. And I patrol the Eagle Scout to try and make sure that if the, his Scout comes back I can get rid of him. So and then after that I just send my two villagers to build a Lumber Camp up here rather than walking them all the way back. I ping roughly where I think he's going to be, just so I can get a rough idea of where he is. So we're going to look at my friend, Byzantine Empire. As his name suggests, he does play the Byzantine Empire a hell of a lot. <laughs> He's pretty damn good at them though. Um, so he loses his scout here, but he manages to trap the enemy one in. So scout for a scout. So not only were we going for a, um, a tower rush from the Incas, we were having a bit of fun with his side as well. You'll see in a little bit. So he was trying to kill the boar over here so that if he was to go for the boar, he'd have to walk all the long way. Does unfortunately lose the villager. And then he sends these two forward to kill the scout. And then what he does next is amazing. So what he does is he sneaks these two villagers past green. I'm pretty sure that you can't see them. Yep, so they're bypassing now. And he has no idea that these villagers are going past him. This then allows my friend to build a forward barracks. And which will give him a pretty strong area to start rushing from. Because generally speaking on a Black Forest map, you don't expect to get rushed. Everyone goes for a fast castle and you eventually get to Imperial and you go for all those trash wars. This wasn't happening this game. It was a do or die situation. <laughs> so I'm a little bit later to feudal than I wanted to be. But it got me wondering what Blue was going for when he got to Feudal so early. I think in retrospect he was going for Scouts, we'll just have a look at his economy. So he's got a couple of idols, but yeah he was going for a stable here so he's most likely going for a um, Scout Rush. Which is kind of weird when you know that that area is um, walled off, maybe they were going to try and collapse on Byzantine Empire. I even got an early bloodlines as well. Cool, so this is the start of my tower rush. Beauty of um, Black Forest is that you can see where all of your enemy's resources are. Now I noticed that four of his resources are forward and one behind. And stone isn't particularly important in feudal as gold is. So I'm able to place my first tower up here and I get my second tower off pretty quickly. This is the main, the most crucial part, is that I've researched my infantry upgrade for armor, so my villagers are tankier, because that's one of the Inca's bonuses, and I've got two towers up, which means that he can't get this area here, at least not very easily. I'm not sure what took Green so long to get into um, uh, Feudal Age, I think that he might have just been playing the match a little slow. Let's just have a look at what Byzantine Empire is doing. So he's got the Men at Arms research and he's going to start building some Men at Arms very soon. Now this is where I want to focus for most of it. For some reason I got my villagers attacking that. Now I thought this tower wouldn't get attacked but it, it turns out it was just in range of the town centre. I'm not sure why it didn't start attacking earlier though. Maybe it didn't have line of sight there. 
And all I'm trying to do with this one now that I've realized it's in range is try and keep it alive to get a bit of extra damage off. I'm researching forging. I've already researched uh, fletching, so I'm doing more damage and my villagers are doing more damage as well. At this point, because he's boxed in all the way out over here, the only way he can make it out of here alive is by taking all of his villagers and bringing them to Green's base. And he's starting to do a household because he's realizing that is, he's going to fall pretty soon. I'm not sure if they just weren't expecting any aggression early or if Green just didn't balance his economy very well because he's got a lot of excess wood but not a whole lot else. Because I've got the um, the villagers are a bit tankier, I'm able to kill off his scouts with relative ease. And I've got the eagle scout there to help a little bit as well. And the aim here was I was going to start building a barracks and getting a couple of spears just to help take some of the scout cabs out. And this is when he surrendered. So we have 20 minutes of in-game time and we already have one opponent out and this is Black Forest. And all be meanwhile, Byzantine Empire is executing a bit of a fun rush over here. So it's not like that even if Blue got his base over here that he was entirely safe. This was a very high risk situation, uh, strategy. I think that he was going to go and get some more towers to deal with the rush on his side. But yeah, as soon as Blue resigned, I think Green realized that the game was pretty much over. Let's just have a look at the stats. So yeah, 21 minutes in a team Black Forest and we've won the game. I was pretty proud of us actually. <laughs> so you can see how few units were actually lost. But Byzantine Empire was going to get his army going pretty shortly. I think he was going to go and get the men at arms to get rid of the tower and just start doing some as much damage as possible to green space. So he had a pretty decent economy, but I think getting to feudal so late put him so far behind. Whereas if he'd just gone for a standard fast castle, he'd have been able to at least try and help Blue out. Yeah, that's a very, very late feudal time. Whereas that's very early. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun with this game. I wasn't entirely sure if it was going to work, but I was really happy when it did. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me some other unorthodox tactics on Black Forest that might work. I'd love to hear some suggestions. If you would like to see more of these videos, please consider subscribing and liking. It helps a lot. I will see you next time. Have a good day.